Hello there everyone and welcome back to RealScreenReviews.com. I'm Nick Yakabuchi and our next review is the action comedy The Other Guys. This movie opened around the country today on Friday, August 6, 2010, and it stars Funny Man, Will Ferrell, Marky Mark, Eva Mendez, and Michael Keaton. This film comes to us from director Adam McKay, friend and longtime collaborator with Will Ferrell. Now since the year 2004 and starting with Anchorman, they have churned out a different comedy every other year with Talladega Nights in 2006, 2008 Step Brothers, and this time Mark Wahlberg joins the team to bring us the other guys. Well now the other guys in question are Alan Gamble and Terry Hoyts, played respectively by Will Ferrell and Marky Mark. They are members of the detective squad at their precinct, but strive to be considered to be anything higher than a joke or object of ridicule to their peers. Farrell's Allen has uh, been transferred in from forensic accounting, seems to love the idea of non-stop paperwork, and dislikes any kind of notion that would bring them into contact with any type of action or violence. This couldn't be any more upsetting to Allen's partner Terry that has a very short fuse and a craving to always be proving himself in the line of duty. Together they begin our story in nothing but the complete shadow of the department's white knights in shining armor. Sam Jackson and Dwayne Johnson show up in wonderful cameos at the beginning of the film as the envy of everyone and with egos the size of Colorado and Florida, I believe. Then after the unexplained demise of our two super cops, that leaves the door open for Alan and Terry to try and seize the opportunity to show the rest of the force that they are more than capable of being the pride of the department. Now enter Steve Coogan as David Ayrshon, a big time corporate executive that has single-handedly devised a scheme to defraud the state lottery of tens of millions of dollars. Now he has somehow covered with the money from investors and also by stealing from the police department's pension fund the means to smooth over all of his poor business decisions and leave complete blame on the higher-ups of the Lendell Corporation. As our story progresses, Alan and Terry need to set their differences aside and start working together as the partners that they are assigned to be. They do share great comedic interaction between them throughout the film, and somehow they still manage to slowly unravel the mystery of a very complex jewel heist in which only $70,000 was stolen, and then in turn how this factors into our larger puzzle involving the Lendell Corporation and David Ayrshon and factor in a subplot where every amazingly beautiful woman falls well over the top for Will Ferrell and not Marky Mark, a good cop bad cop routine that you won't soon forget, a ballet dancing comedic side of Mark Wahlberg rarely seen, and you have what I would call a fun way to spend an afternoon at the movies. Well people, this is an enjoyable movie and it does have laughs, some big laughs, and I did like most of this film. However, some of this film is actually just dumb. But the first and biggest reason that I would say that the film succeeds is because of the interaction of the two leads. I thought that Wahlberg and Farrell made a great comedic team and they perfectly evened out each scene for the other guy. No pun intended. They handled the over-the-top humor of this feature just as smoothly as they sailed through the film's funniest moments involving Eva Mendez as Alan's wife, Sheila, and never did I ever feel that these characters were ever deliberately trying to push or shove the joke to the audience. Now, as I mentioned before, the, the guys that brought us the other guys also gave us both Anchorman and Talladega Nights. I actually think that both of those comedies are better than this one because both of those films were complete farces from start to finish. This film explores some sincerity and tenderness which begged the question, why, from me. This was time wasted and worthlessly spent when there could have been more humor added to the story. There are also specific and certain scenes that have not only no motivation to them, but they have also no explanation to them as well. There's a fight between Alan and his wife, as well as the very big and unanswered question as to why Sam Jackson and The Rock pull a Thelma and Louise at the very beginning of our story. On a whole, I did enjoy The Other Guys, but this is definitely not one of the year's best films or even one of its best comedies. It is a quality film, and at 1 hour and 47 minutes, never did I feel like this was a long movie. I did have a smile on my face most of the time, and it was especially nice to see Michael Keaton do straight comedy again. After Toy Story 3 and now this, it was wonderful to be reminded of just how funny this man can be. This isn't a great film, but it isn't a bad film. You know, This isn't the film that you're going to rave to your friends to go see, but you're not going to tell them to not go see it either. This is a straight middle-of-the-road film, and there's room for average movies in this world. A mild but still favorable review with two and a half stars out of four. And remember, people, I'm not always right, only when it comes to the movies. And thank you for your attention.